This is going to look so different after looking at this for a couple weeks, having it be all path. Switching it over to core start is going to be very, very different. But in a cool way, though. So I don't think there's any point in me and Alistair working on the same part of the path. I feel like I can probably just go ahead. I also have to be careful that I'm using coarse dirt and not regular dirt. Get some more coarse dirt here. I wish you could break blocks like grass just a little bit faster with your fists would make landscaping a lot easier. Whoops. So have just Paranor, have you decided on the theme? Like is there a is there a, a lore base to it or is it is it like fantasy, is it medieval? What's the the idea of your kingdom's world? We're we're going sci-fi in some places on the Citadel and I am excited I found a texture pack called Odyssey and it's old and it has a whole bunch of really cool stuff including like UI overhauls and all kinds of really neat things so I'm looking forward to maybe putting my own spin on something like that To always have a large oak generated, place five stone blocks next to the sapling and spam Bomeo on it. Five. Oh, like five vertical? It's like so you have to force it to get to a certain height or something? Oops. Uh, shulkers. I'll get my gravel out too. Can't type today. Already this is taking on a much different look, eh? I'm really, really digging it. Pardon the pun. I'm sorry, I'm not sorry. That might be the one pun I get today. I'll have to try that large oak trick in just a second. Alistair McFly. Nope. Cosmic Dancer. Up to shenanigans. Thanks for the gift sub for Alistair Cosmic. That's awesome. So FYI, in case people didn't know, Cosmic Dancer is a force to be reckoned with. A force for good in the Spawn Chunks community, and Spawn Chunks is the uh, Minecraft podcast that I do, but she's also in the Citadel Cafe community and a member of the server, and yes, there's more. She's given out 10 gift subscriptions on my Twitch channel. So I think everybody should give Cosmic Dancer some hype in the chat room for being an awesome human. Because I certainly appreciate all that you do. It's very, very cool. Thank you. This is actually going a lot faster than I thought. Turns out that replacing blocks is a lot harder than designing blocks. <laughs> or sorry, not harder, easier. It's a lot faster to just do this than it is to figure out where they go. I never thought about brown wool. That might actually be a, an idea too for some muddy type areas. I'm not sure if it would just read as wool or what. 
and I screwed that up, I think. Oh no, I'm getting confused now because I'm just doing the edge. I have more dirt than I know what to do with. The cool thing about using this brown path though is that we could do some really cool stairs. Like wooden stairs are not gonna look out of place. They're just gonna look like part of it. Should be really cool. Nice thing about having all the grass path gone too is that you get your dirt back. Not that anybody in this game is ever like short on dirt. So this is looking pretty cool. Definitely feels more rustic. But We will certainly know too if any uh, any additional dirt was placed down instead of coarse dirt because it'll turn to grass. <laughs> uh, am I out? Of, I'm out of coarse dirt. That means I may have I may have just down, put down regular dirt down the other end there to double check that. It'll stand out for sure. Smilebringer, hello! Thanks for coming by. How are you? So I don't think that there's any dirt. I think this is all good. Okay. Be nice to have some different footstep noises too with the different materials once we get the, um, the different stuff in here. So I can go ahead and fill this in. And for now, I think I am gonna use those dirt slabs just so that we constantly don't have to hop uh, and go up and down on these things. I think that was three. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so dirt slab time. I would say probably wanna carve this back. This is probably gonna end up being more stone. Make that 11 gift subscriptions. Cosmic Dancer gifting Paranora sub. Thanks so much. I need to get on my emotes and make sure I can get those working. So same idea here. Uh, hmm. Do I wanna push this out? I think yes. Just for something different, do that. Now this, I definitely want to push back in. And we'll do that there. I like how you can have like a, a side here to it, rather than having this all be a stair. That's pretty cool. And we'll do the same thing here. So it was one, two, three, and then I think for these, we'll do both of these like that. Nice. Yeah, Paranor is Canadian. Paranor is in uh, one hour away from Joel. Are you in Truro? I thought you were in Moncton for some reason, Paranor. 
So I'm just going to do this kind of like one step at a time. I feel like this one will be two there and one there. And then I feel like this one's going to be like, like that. Actually, maybe have it gently slope out a little bit. <laughs> Sorry for sleeping on the job. Nice. Clever. Well, I appreciate it. Um, now, I'd say we probably want to take these two out for sure. Like that. Yeah, that works. And then these two. And then maybe this one. And I'm thinking maybe this goes back to grass. Actually, you know what? I feel like Alistair probably has, um, they're probably showing up as wood slabs. So Alistair, do you, are these, are these dark, uh, these dirt slabs showing up as, as uh, oak slabs for you? They probably are. The slave reserve? <laughs> you mean the village? Yes. <laughs> Might have to make some more coarse dirt. Whoops. That was supposed to be a slab. So I explained it earlier for uh, for the rest of the, the Twitch people, but for anybody that hasn't been in, uh, this is a, a petrified oak slab. So you can't actually um, you can't actually craft it in survival, but it's still in the game. It's the old. Um, I'm not sure how they they worded it in the old game, but so let's get rid of some of our dirt. I think we're just going to do a second line of dirt here. And we'll grab two of those and make some more coarse dirt. Go. Ah. Yeah, I wanted to do a little bit of modify textures. I don't want to go too crazy with it, but dirt and, and coarse dirt are just so boring when you get a lot of it together. So I thought this was a nice compromise. Alistair is probably not seeing any of the very uh, the texture variations either. So this should go a lot faster because the path is a lot smaller. But I have to think about what I'm going to do with this river here too. So this might be a good opportunity later on to have like a different texture, some gravel or, or maybe some of that um, mushroom block. Kind of fun. So here, I think we could probably just come down with more slabs, like that, I guess. Maybe another one here. Yeah, pretty good. Man, this is going fast. Thanks so much for the help, man. Much appreciated. Whoops, that was grass. So one thing about these efficiency shovels is that you can get a little bit too trigger happy. I 
I tend to use them just on the edge of like of of um, the distance that you can mine stuff. Let's say that's probably right. So this stuff I'm be a little bit more careful with because there's like an overhang here that I did uh, last week and I want to make sure that this stays the way that I want. Yeah, I uh, I know what you mean, Paranoia. Efficiency three on shovels tends to be enough uh, unless you're like mining sand or collecting stuff. But then you just, you know, you keep your efficiency five shovel for that one time that, that uh, you know, you need it. And then use for landscaping, especially precision stuff like this, it would be much easier to have like an efficiency three. What's this? Probably a, oh, it's a four. I don't really know, think you'd notice a huge difference between a four and a five. They're, both of them are just lightning fast. So this is where I'm just trying to be a little bit more careful. Just going to go along the edge here. Uh, yeah, Paranor, I think there is going to be a trapdoor bridge, especially because the last time I did trapdoor bridges, it was in 1.12, and we didn't have the new trapdoors. So um, I'm looking forward to doing like a spruce trapdoor bridge. Um, I tried something back at the wheat farm, and it really did not go the way that I wanted it to go. So I'm looking forward to trying something a little bit new. Especially now that we've got in 1.14, we're going to have new sign colors as well. So there, are, in some ways, I'm kind of sad that this isn't a snapshot world. I could try, I could always update it if I wanted to, but I don't know. There's something about being able to plan stuff now, knowing that 1.14 is coming, and you're like, well, do I want to build that thing now, or do I want to wait until I have all the different slabs and stairs and stuff that I need? And so I'm, I'm starting to feel the 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 yoke of a new update coming with new blocks and i'm not building anything too fancy because i know there's going to be new blocks i'm going to want to use wow the wind's really starting to pick up around here the storm is coming i think i had this set up so that i could do uh, all the transitions with slabs as well. Like the stairs are always a couple wide. Uh, let's do this for Alistair here. Has never lived the beta life. Don't live the beta life. Sweet. I think that's the whole thing done. I just need to grab some more slabs, which is easy enough because uh, I don't have anything on me right now, but let's just make a quick crafting table. And the recipe for making the petrified oak slab is just taking coarse dirt and doing that and you'll see it says petrified oak slab but the texture pack uh gives it a coarse dirt texture wow i just made an awful lot of those <laughs> that's fine okay well i have more than i ever need now actually let's maybe make this pushed back just a little bit Actually, I think maybe I could do this. Uh, 
It's okay. I think I actually would prefer it if it, this was this was like that. Yeah, so now we can get all the way here without having to jump, which is nice. Cruise around this way. Oh, sun's going down. Probably take care of that. I feel like there's another step here. Uh, let's do this. Like that. And I think I'm going to actually dig this back a little bit just because we're going to need room for that bridge. Actually, I wonder what that would look like if I left that as a full full block. You know, let's leave it like that for now. Liking that. Cool. Thanks for sleeping. Wow, that went incredibly fast. So cool. So let's, we can put most of this back. I think I'm going to leave the top here for coarse dirt. Like that. Maybe leave one for slabs. <laughs> Ghost chicken. <laughs> nice. Uh, all right, let's take a little shoot into the air here and see how that looks. I mean, it's just going to look like a dirt path, but it'll be a different, I guess, aesthetic than what we've got going on. Yep, Alistair the Invisible Man. So there's the dirt paths of the meadows, or the, the grass path, excuse me, grass path of the meadows. And then coming down this way, they're not going to be as obvious... Yeah, I like the start of that. Now, if you can imagine this whole thing, but looking like this. And I think the only trick is going to be how to give it an edge. And I struggled with that on this dirt path over there. And so the nice thing about the grass path is that you have this like little pixel that it drops as you remove the grass top to it. And that doesn't happen with coarse dirt. So... I need to figure out a way to give this thing sort of some edges. And in some places, something as simple as a carpet is probably going to be enough. So like over here, where it really feels kind of flat, we can do something like that. And it helps a lot. Uh, you know, stuff like that makes it feel a little bit like it's got a border and uh, dirt slabs are going to help maybe some cobble here and there but really um, I think what we're going to have to do is come up with maybe uh, either where are they I feel like maybe spruce fences would kind of be they'll look the best so in some cases we might want to have to put like some fences around just to kind of like indicate that the path goes in a certain direction you know Try and steer the player. So doing something like that with maybe a bush. I did some stuff like this uh, over at the um, the wheat farm. I wonder if this would look good. A little bit dark for a plains biome. We just have to go with regular regular bushes, which is fine. Yeah, so stuff like that dotted along the path should go a long way. This is not, I don't like that one. But, you know, because when you see that, you kind of like, you know, steer naturally to the left uh, and then kind of follow your own path down that way. So I'm going to try that tree trick now that Paranor said I have to put five blocks next to the sapling. I'm going to leave that there just for fun. Grab a sapling. And... I guess we can just use cobblestone. Like that. And then one, two, 
three, four, five, and then sapling. And oh, I had bone meal on me. Let's try to grab a little bit more. Yeah, that does not work. So I'm thinking that the slab or glass block has got to be a little bit lower. Where is, just do this. Could have sworn that this is how this is supposed to go. Well, I was gonna leave those there, but not a big deal. So that's a bigger than normal tree, but not exactly what I wanted. Let's try that again. Same thing. Hmm. Well, third time's a charm. Goodness is I got lots of wood. <laughs> uh, sapling. Wow. Ah, okay. That's a little bit different. I don't know if that's necessarily bigger, better, or what, but I'll take it. Grab some. My shears are almost dead, but that's okay. I just want something to kind of get me going. I find that with custom trees in Minecraft, I much prefer to just start somewhere. Okay, I think I will take your saplings. I probably already did take your saplings. Yeah, right? Like it's just big enough that you sort of like get a little bit of a glimpse of the church and then revealed later. I am okay with it for now. So it's a start. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do with this hill thing here. I feel like I wanna put like trees here as well, um, but I'm not exactly sure what and how we're gonna do that. I want this to kind of be kind of like a very lush part. Like I kind of want trees to be on this side of it as well. Um, just watching a clip from Exumavoid. He says diagonal to the sapling glass block with a slab on it. Diagonal to the sapling. Okay, let's try that. Let's try that. Let's put one down here. So I had the right idea, I just wasn't placed diagonal. So I think it has to be one higher. So if this is like a grove and there's a great big tree in the grove, then let's do this. We'll do kind of like this open area here. Like that. Maybe take these two out too. And we will put a tree here. And then put a slab. This is where I thought it was too. I thought I, thought I had done this before. I don't remember whether it was a stream or a video, but I thought I had done it near spawn and it went horribly wrong and we grew this ginormous tree that we didn't want. So one, three. No, I need more boat meal. I just realized that I didn't use the path at all. <laughs> all that work, and I didn't bother to go down the path. So I feel like this is going to be a good spot for a tree if it works. Nope, that is not working. Unless you meant diagonal like over here. There's a certain way to block the, the way that the sapling grows. Nope. I don't know. I will come back to that. I don't want to waste too much time messed around. Still not diagonal. Like diagonal on the ground? 
Yeah, I'm not sure why it didn't work either. If the horse doesn't like to be petted, do not pet the horse. <laughs> Obvious instructional comments from Alistair. I would say that this is looking a lot better than it was. Uh, this coarse dirt texture has gone a long way, I think, to help out. Uh, on top of all of this, I had Alistair's help, and it took absolutely no time to replace all of the path blocks that we had going along here uh, with the coarse dirt. And we also have this palette that we worked on. And so the texture for the path is actually going to look like this. Uh, but thanks for hanging out, folks. Uh, my name is Joel Duggan, and this is The Citadel. And you can also listen to me on The Spawn Chunks, where I talk with my friend Pixel Riffs about Minecraft. We're going to have a new episode coming out tomorrow. That's Monday. Uh, the, what is today, 19th? So the 20th, I think, is tomorrow. And we're going to be announcing an upcoming guest. So stay tuned for that. And you can follow me on all the social medias with just my name. Everything is at joelduggan.com. I will see you next time.